Matt from Total Drama here to answer a question I get asked a lot and I think it's a good question so I thought you know I'm gonna make a video um, and the question is what is the difference between 3-4 and 6-8 time signature? It's a good question because they add up to the same thing. So let's just have a really really quick crash course on time signatures. So the top number tells us how many beats are in the bar. The bottom number tells us the note value of those beats. So take 4-4, four, 4 four at the top four beats in the bar, four at the bottom says those beats are quarter notes, so there are four quarter notes in a bar. Now a quarter note lasts for one beat, an eighth note lasts for half a beat, remember that, because we'll need it in a minute. So let's look at three, four. Three at the top means there are three beats in a bar, four at the bottom means they're quarter notes, three quarter notes in a bar. A quarter note lasts for one beat, so there are three whole beats in a bar. Six, eight, excuse me, six, eight means there are six beats in a bar, and the eight at the bottom tells us they're eighth notes. So we just explained eighth notes are half a beat each. Okay, so you've got six half a beats. Now if you add two halves together, you get a whole. So if you add six halves together, you get three holes. So six eight actually adds up to three whole beats. Three four is also three whole beats. So they're the same, and this is where the confusion happens and people wonder what's going on. So they add up to the same thing. So the reason we have both is all down to phrasing. It's all down to the way we phrase it. We have, as we said, six notes, six eighth notes in each bar, but they're gonna be counted differently and they'll be phrased differently. So if we look at six eight, first of all, what we have there is we split those six notes into two groups of three, and that creates two main pulses. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of like a triplet where we go one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In three, four, we divide our six eighth notes there. We would divide it into three groups of two. So we've got three little clusters of two, and that creates three main pulses. And we would count that differently as well. So we'd count one and two and three and one and two and three and now i hope you're still with me so if i now if i'm going to just count through and clap the main pulses of a bar of six eight then three four six eight three four i'll loop the two bars for a few times so you can kind of hear the difference the rate the speed the tempo the amount of notes all of that stays the same it's just the stresses and therefore the phrasing within those that changes so six, eight first, and three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three and one, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three and one, two, three, five, six. One and two and three and one, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three and. That's it. It's easy. It's that easy. But. That's it in concept. What we need to do now is listen to some music. So you, you, hopefully you'll be able to hear. We're gonna do a couple of examples of six, eight, and then we'll do a couple of examples of three, four, and let's try and see if we can hear the difference between them. All right, so let's start with a little bit of Jimi Hendrix. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three. So this is three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so this is a slower three, four. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Should be a DJ. That was smooth. Six eight. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. Three four five six. One two three. So smooth again. Wasted. Wasted. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five,
Okay, so two examples of three, four, two examples of six, eight. Hopefully you could hear that. You may have been too dazzled by my DJ mixing skills, but go back and listen to it again if you need to. And that's it, that's it. So it is quite simple really, but it can take a bit of time to, to really hear it and be super comfortable with it. So when you hear a piece, you'll be able to identify is that six, eight or three, four phrasing. Um, but say, so listen, listen for those stresses in the music. That's the key to it. So if you think you've got it, if you're feeling brave, I want to end with, I'm going to give you four more examples and they will be labeled one, two, three, four. And they won't be in like that last one. We did two or six, eight, two or three, four. These won't be in any particular order. But I want you to go into the comments if you're brave enough and tell me what each one is. So number, example one, two, three, four, is it six, eight or three, four? So see if you can guess each one and get it right. If you've got the guts to put it out there in the public. Um, but ho hopefully this explains it anyway. If not, also put in the comments if you've got any questions, put them in there, I'll answer them. I'm sure other people can answer them as well. And uh, this will be a nice little resource for people that are wondering what is the difference between six, eight and three, four?